Programming as a whole might not be that easy, but learning to program is easier than ever now. With endless amount of tutorials, guides, and courses available, both paid and free, but with the abundance of courses, it can get really increasingly confusing at every step when you start to learn to code, and it can be hard to decide where to start your journey. Another problem that is caused by the wrong approach when you learn to code is losing motivation midway and giving up. Today, I want to break down the different components and the most effective steps to learning to code from scratch. We'll tackle this point twice, so let's take this out. The first question you should tackle before you start to consider any other aspect of learning to code is why you want to learn to code in the first place. Now don't get on the back foot here, maybe you want to become a website developer, maybe you want to make a game. Maybe you're learning just to impress your friends or you just want to try it out just for fun. Like seriously, any reason is fine as long as it has some value to you. So take your time, decide that answer quickly. Let me know in the comments why you want to learn to program. And if you already have that answer down in your mind, let's get to the next point. As you're set with the motives behind you learning to code, the next step is to choose the correct programming language. This choice can be really crucial as some programming languages are made to do certain things and one language can't essentially do everything. So it's important that you choose the right language for your path for programming. If you're wondering how to effectively choose a programming language, I already made a detailed video tackling all the popular languages and which is more appropriate for whom. There will be a link in the description of the video. Another thing you might not know if this is your first time learning to code, the fundamentals and basics of every language is the same. So once you understand the basics of one programming language, it becomes really effortless to learn another or any number of programming languages you want, at least at the basic level. After you've chosen a suitable programming language, it's time you install an environment or text editor to work for that language. For languages like Python, you actually need to install Python in your computer, but you don't need to do that with some other languages. The best way to choose a good editor and set up an environment and set up everything you need to get started with working with a particular programming language is to use Google or YouTube. Like please don't ask me in the comments which is the best editor for any language. Try using the ones recommended by the internet and you should be fine. You can find complete step-by-step -step guides to ideally set up your environment. Thanks to the internet, learning to code can be completely free process these days. Well, you'll still need an internet connection, to be honest, but all you need to do is to search beginner's tutorial for whichever language you want to learn and that's how easy it is. You can pick one of these hour-long videos which teach all the basics and fundamentals in one video or you can feel free to follow any series or playlist. I guarantee you all of them are legit. Just find whose teaching style you suit with the most and even after the basics, you can also find numerous tutorials on any advanced topics you want to get into for free for any topic you want to learn later. If you're learning Python, I suggest the channel Sentex. I personally like his teaching style of making tutorials and the way he revolves more around making projects and practical application more than just memorizing the theory. Python is the only language I learned completely using YouTube, so that's the only one I can talk about suggesting. If learning from books or written guides is more of your style, you can find free ebooks all over the internet. Again, for Python, a good suggestion will be Automate the Boring Stuff by Al Swigert. Or you can find written elaborate guides on websites like geek for geeks Tutorials Point, PythonProgramming.net, etc. I'll leave these links in the description. You can find websites like these by googling really easily. Really, Google is your biggest friend when you're learning to code. Although everything you need is essentially available for free, paid courses provide a more structured path to learn to code along with assignments, challenges, and instructor support. You don't need to buy these courses, but if you want to spend a little more in exchange of a more formulated experience, you can do so from websites like Coursera, Brilliant.org, Code Academy, Udemy, or etc. I don't know the exact prices of these websites, but they are pretty affordable. But again, I recommend not to spend money on this, at least not on the basic stuff. I will encourage you to learn those using the free resources. As you start coding, you'll soon realize that errors and bugs are a lot more common than successes. 
you will soon get used to these errors and the thing though is to how to resolve them. As I said before, Google is your best friend. You can simply copy the error message and paste it into Google. If you're facing a problem, chances are someone else have already faced that problem before you. And most of the time, there is a solution available on the internet. You'll use this website slash forum called Stack Overflow quite a lot. In case you can't find your solution in this forum, you can also post your questions, although it may take a little while to get an answer. It's important to not get discouraged by errors. Anyone who knows any extent of coding will know that, that only 20% of the time will be spent writing code and the rest of the 80% will be spent resolving errors and fighting against bugs. If you don't know what a bug is, I'll give a brief description to help you distinguish it from an error. An error is a syntax related or sometimes a logical mistake which stops the program from executing. Whereas a bug is mostly a logical error which doesn't crash the code but messes up with the output on some or every occasion. Locating and eliminating bugs is a really rigorous skill that you learn using really small steps as you keep coding more and more. Motivation is crucial to learning anything and same goes for learning to code and to keep yourself from quitting. You need to stay driven towards the goal you set even if it's just to impress your crush just by making a game. Make sure the reason matters enough to you. Even after all this, most people will find it really boring to watch tutorials explaining concept after concept and replicating them. I personally don't like to learn coding from books or by memorizing the theory well. The obvious yet revolutionary solution is to build projects. What building projects does is it gives you more challenges to win. A project is generally based on simultaneous application of multiple concepts and procedures and algorithms. Suppose you are building a to-do list app or a simple website, maybe a snake game or just something like the stupid projects I used to make. Make sure you don't take up something super hard at the start. Start with picking small projects which are just outside your comfort zone. I personally like these challenges till this day. It pushes you to learn a little more in every iteration and pick an even more complicated project the next time. Again, there is no ideal way to learn to code, so suit yourself if you want to fantasize with the theory alone. But I will recommend you to start working on projects as soon as possible as they make the learning process way more interesting. A lot of beginners make this mistake and I myself was really concerned about this when I started programming a few years ago that is um, you might think it's really important to have all the syntaxes that you learn in the back of your mind and that's absolutely not the case. You will internalize the syntax by using them over and over like I don't have to remember how a for loop is written in a python like, because I have to use it so many times. But if you ask me how to write a dictionary or how to retrieve an exact value from a dictionary unless it is a python dictionary I'm talking about I don't remember because I don't use python dictionaries that often. And that's okay you can always google your syntaxes that's not a big problem. The key skill you need to develop is to think like a programmer and get used to the tools you have in your arsenal and that will only happen through coding more and more. That is basically all the tips you need to get started. One more thing I'd like to add is to not get stuck in tutorials. Don't just keep watching tutorials, you won't learn unless you do it by yourself. So go out there and code your brains out and if you end up developing a special liking to programming you can do amazing things with it. Also, I'm using the words programming and coding synonymously in this video. Technically, they are not the same, but they are often used to represent the same thing. So just deal with that. Then I'd like to thank you for taking your time to watch this. I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like, if you liked it and leave a comment with any suggestions which can help me improve. And if you like the kind of content I put out, hit the subscribe button if you want. If you want to support me even more as a content creator, you can do so by becoming a channel member by using the join button. You can click the join button to get all the information about the different members exclusive perks you get and the prices. And with all this said, I will take my leave. Oh, and another thing is do not forget your semicolons. Uh, unless you're in Python, that is. Python is God. No, like Python really is God. Is cause I will not quit, and I'm on it, on it. I'm gonna launch quick, and I'm gone. It's just a matter of time before I'm over the prime and moving under my prime. Just quit my nine to five. I'm rocking, and they watching, cause it's shocking. Dropping all these top ten songs, so stopping. It's time to live my life, it's time to live my die. Wish I could slow down time.